and introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 70.1 kilograms and trains under David Garnham and Peter Templer out of Mackay MMA with an undefeated amateur record of two wins for zero defeats. Put your hands together for Keen Morris. And introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at 70.7 kilograms and trains under Darcy Vendy out of CMBT Training Center, making his amateur debut tonight inside the Eternal Cage. Put your hands together, make some noise for Bo Berg! Keen Morris in the blue. Bo Berg in the red. Bo Round Berg. number one underway. Kyle Noak, take it away. Yeah, Bo Berg looks like he's in a different weight division. He's he's a big a lightweight. Nice double leg take down there. Great execution. And you see that size and strength there. Bo going back to his days of rugby league, Kyle. Your classic <laughs> double leg. Proving yeah. successful here early in round one. And nice and tight around the legs. Not giving much space there to Keane. Keane looking to stuff that head now to come up a little bit. But, oh, nice tabletop by the legs there. Controlling that hand, stopping Keen from posting on that hand to get up. Doing a great job. He'd be careful not to get up his back here. Nice, great get up. Good head position from Berg, though. Berg doing a good job of keeping his head underneath Keen's. Controlling that wrist. Nice pressure. Nice reversal there from Keane. It's a great reversal from Keane, and he's done a good job of just taking the edge of that aggression away from Bo as he looks to impose his will, but Bo's so strong once again. He's got a nice head arm there. Good chance for him to throw them knees. Nice Keane Morris doing a great job now. Sprawling out in time. So he's trying to look up, at, oh no. Blue is young for look Anaconda. At that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Whatever he was going for, Kyle, it worked out well because... He still has that guillotine too, though. Yeah, he does. He's we've seen people finish it with that one arm in as well. Oh my goodness. It looks nice and tight. If you can get that other hand and join it together, he'd be in a lot more better position. But we have seen people finish it with just a single arm. And now as soon as he's posture up, he needs to posture up and unload now while he's trying to get some breath back. Because Bo will be looking to suck some air in. Once again, huge thanks to proper number 12, Irish Whiskey. Here at Eternal, 67. As Keen Morris gets warm to the back of the head. Oh, that arm sneaking under the neck there. He's going to be careful. He's right in front of his corner. Bo Berg needs to... Oh, find he's something nice he's been tight. flattened out Carl that's under the chin you can hear the advice from the usurper he listens and he's out of the woods but not not just yet he's gonna watch those strikes yeah, the pot in the wow. reverses. look out for that armbar oh that looks tight as well T great defense by Bo so far can he hold on go belly down that's tight oh my goodness he does oh. you'd have to think Carl Keen Morris, a great start in round number one. Yeah, I'd be a bit hesitant to go to the ground with Bo, uh, with uh, Keen Morris now if I was Bo. Oh, Bo got caught looking at his kick. Yeah, indeed. You can't watch your handiwork. Nice switch dance there. Oh, sounded like it hit the cup. It did, but Bo, no. Oh, no bother, double double beautiful. Wow. What a takedown. Keep toes out the cage. Bo, obviously toes not scared to go back to the ground with Keen after that tight armbar. Nice crucifix position here. Keen Morris doing a good job of just tucking that head under the armpit so he can't unload any strikes. He needs to get that arm free. He can't stay in a position like this. He's going to be set up for a Kimura here. So we see Bo fishing for that arm. There's that Kimura T. He's going to watch that left arm. Yeah, but King is very aware of it. Done a great job of getting that arm out of danger. Bo's still hunting there, though. 
A good cyber control position with Keen Morris's head against the cage. Ooh. Very hard for Keen to move. Well, they flipped the script on us, Kyle, <laughs> in round number two. <laughs> yeah, we thought uh, Keen Morris might have had the superiority. Super, I can't even say the word. Superiority. Superiority on the <laughs> ground. Well, he did in round number one, but it is all Bo Berg thus far. That's two from two. Blast double leg takedowns as he's in a great position, but Keen Morris, he's back to his feet. Yeah, throwing them knees again. Every time they get in the clinch, he's got a little bit of room. Keen's throwing them knees nice and clean. And look how calm Keen looks. Well, and goes down again. Three from three, and you'd have to think, Carl, in the eyes of the judges, this is great work from Bo Burke. Absolutely. Now, those takedowns really score high with the judges. And not only is he managing to keep Keen on the ground in this round, he's, he's, he's putting in some, some hard yards, some hard yakka, as we say, <laughs> down under Carl, for those watching from around the world. And, and Keen Morris looks to be looking for a Kimura there of his own. If both can get that leg free, he can put posture up and, and possibly take his back from that position as well. I've got to give credit to the advice from Darcy Vendy. As you said, a wealth of experience. The man with the best nickname in mixed martial arts, <laughs> the usurper. Usurper. Not even he could tell us what it meant. <laughs> but it's fantastic and I love it. Side control now for Berg. Ten seconds left. Morris doing a good job pulling him back into half guard, but once again, a good way to leave a lasting impression in the eyes of the judges for Bo Berg. As round number three is upon us. Third and final round. You ready? Fighter ready. Go. And time is on. And there he goes again. Bo looking for that double. There's no super now. Keen needs to keep that distance and not let Bo shoot. He's doing a great job though, stuffing that shot now. And just get a bit of head control, stuff the head to the ground, stop Bo from coming up. That's what he really needs to do now. He's doing an awesome job. There we go, buddy lock. Take him off the cage. And that's great defense from Morris. Awesome defense. Bo's doing a great job of getting his head underneath Keane's head. It's that strong whizzer proving a problem for Bo Berg. Absolutely. Position like this for Keane, he really, once his, hips, his head comes down near his hips, he needs to stuff that head, and when it comes higher, try to bring that head up. Can he move to high crotch from here, Kyle? He almost had it. <laughs> he almost did. <laughs> I don't want to say what he can't do because he probably just proved me wrong. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as a commentator's curse, is there, Carl? <laughs> of course not. Absolutely not. Oh, goodness me. Fantastic defense from Morris there. Beautiful. And throwing some strikes in there as well. Keeping him guessing. But Berg, what chain wrestling from him. He does manage to get Morris down. Morris still looking to threat with that arm, though. He won't have too much success with it. It's pretty hard to get a Kimura from that position, but... Oh, he's reversed him now. Well, you might not believe it, Kyle, the way this round has turned out, but it's four from four takedowns for Bo Berg. But Keen Morris making him work tooth and nail for everything here in round three. And just popping back to his feet now. Really getting some confidence with them takedowns. Build up, Bo. Build up. Bring your hips in. And I know you're not a judge, Carl, but if you were, do you reward the offensive wrestling of Bo Berg or do you reward the defensive prowess of Morris? Uh, I'd have to reward the both, but I think there needs to be more points scored for somebody who can pop straight back to their feet. As hard as it takes someone down, it's also hard to get up from the ground. I think that's one of the big questions in MMA. It's caused a lot of debate is, you know, what do you, what do you reward more? The offense or the defense? Because to, to me, Bo's putting in a ton of work, but so is Keane. Yeah, and it's also offensive to try to get back to your feet as well while someone's trying to drag you down. Oh, I thought Morris was about to get on top of him, but Bo did a great job in the reversal there. Well, he, he wins the scramble. He's looking to take the back, Carl. Back to you. Absolutely. If you can just get that one hook in as well, you have a better chance of taking the back. There he goes. He's going for it. Here we go. One hook in straight away, looking for the second. Nice back control there from Bo Berg. But Keen Morris doing a good job, pushing his head up nice and high so he can't get around that neck. Seemed to sneak his way up there. Well, you have to reward this, don't you, Kyle? Yeah, both definitely on the attack right now, looking for that rear naked choke. It's nice and tight across the chin. I don't think he's going to get it in time. Ten seconds left, submission attempt for Bo Berg. I think Keen Morris is just too hungry not to tap.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of incredible back and forth action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Judge number one scores this contest 29 28 to the red corner. Judge two scores this contest 29 28 to the blue corner. And judge three scores this contest 29 28 for your winner via split decision in the red.